Okay, Larry. Larry Dobson here. Silicon carbide. What is this used in? Silicon carbide is used in uh, ceramic kilns. This is a kiln shelf uh, beam, piece of one. Um, it has. It can be heated up and cooled down very quickly. It has tremendous strength. And this was used in a furnace that had cool air coming into it that was preheating it for the gasification reaction. We put, um, these were staged so that um, it held the fuel in a constant configuration and um, super hot air that was partially heated from this came down and gasified, vaporized the fuel. So one of these um, eventually broke on the, the Godzilla furnace, and I replaced it with... Um, Did you cast this yourself? Or? No, no, this... This is commercially this is made? commercially made, yeah. How do they um, do that? They take the silicon carbide crystals, which are used in the industry for uh, abrasive. It's, um, let's see, carborundum is the trade name. Super hard, like that's synthetic carborundum. Hmm? Carborundum is synthetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, you can can you put the see the crystals in there? Yeah. No, can't see can't it really. Get it. Can't get it, but there's it's actually mm -hmm. crystallizing over there. Uh huh. Yep. So they take these crystals and they compact them together at super high temperature, over four thousand degrees Fahrenheit and extrude it. And they make shelves of this um, for putting wares on for the ceramic and then they can fire them. Uh, it's lightweight, it doesn't take up a lot of the heat. How do they heat that up? Mostly it's natural gas. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they might use electric. How do they gas. synthesize carborundum? It's um, it's done with the carbon and the silicon at high temperatures and pressure, kind of like making diamonds. But they make um, uh, industrial quantities of this for mainly still for abrasives. This has to be cut with a diamond saw. So um, we won't be using this, but I was talking about um, the temperatures and the corrosive nature of uh, the flames in the system, I replaced this with a uh, 304 stainless steel one that um, lasted for about two weeks and then it was totally rusted out. So this is what we have to deal with and why we're using ceramics in the interior of the system. Mm -hmm. What's the price for carborundum per pound, do you know? It's expensive. This. Um, the full one was like this big, and um, that was, let's see, I think I paid um, for six of them, 109 bucks or something. This was back when. I don't know what the price is on it now. That's after extrusion or for that's, raw material? That's ready-made from the factory. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad, like... I don't know, let's say 20 bucks a one of those sticks yeah. or so. Uh, but don't bad. quote me on that. I, I'd have to look at the pricing on that again. 